Hi there! This short tutorial is looking at Bubble Basics in the brand new fast capture mode in iMindMap 9. So let's go! I'm at the screen where you uh, you choose what mode you want to start in. You could choose in mind map mode or brainstorm mode. I'm going to start in fast capture mode. Give my my map or my new creation a name. I'll call it my amazing music and click return. And I have a little bubble, an orange bubble in the middle of the screen with the name my amazing music in the middle. And down at the bottom it says, simply start typing to quickly add ideas and use the arrow keys to navigate. Also, you can add a new idea from the top menu. I'm going to do that. Right, my music, my amazing music, Beatles. And I hit return. Oh, there's a new bubble. Black, Black Sabbath. I hit return. Queen, I hit return. The Smiths. I hit return. Okay, so it's bumping out bubbles. I'm literally just typing and hitting return and it's bumping out bubbles. If I want to, uh, I suddenly thought of some of the albums in my collection by the Beatles, I can click on that and carry on the process. Sergeant Pepper, click return. Help, click return. White album, hit return and so on. If I want to navigate, I can use it with the arrow keys as well. So if I do the right arrow key, it goes right. If I do left, it goes left. I can go, I can keep doing that process. It kind of gets stuck sometimes. So look, it's going right arrow, left arrow, and it's got, ah, now it's gone down. Uh, Black Sabbath, so I can, I can carry on my process. Heaven and hell, paranoid. And let's have a couple of Queen albums. Day at the Races. Two is one of my favourite ones. Can't make too many spelling mistakes there. That's the Roman numeral two. What else? Uh, jazz. Just before they went crap. <laughs> no. Well, uh, after Jazz they did the uh, the Life Killers, which was when I went to see them at their my first ever concert in 1979 when I was just a kid and then they went crap with the game. Anyway, uh, so we've got a load of bubbles and the idea is if you want to change the colours, you can't. You've got orange bubbles or you've got not orange bubbles. Well actually you've got some blue bubbles, what's this about? Well, you'll see that the one I last clicked on which was Queen is highlighted with these circles around it and then the bubbles um, directly touching or linked to it are orange and that shows you, it helps you focus on what is highlighted at the moment. If you want, you can click on the Beatles and everything attached to the Beatles is highlighted, all the albums and the place it came from, which is my amazing music. And that happens if you use the arrow keys as well. So you always know where you are just by clicking around. And the one that's orange, a sort of darker orange with the circles is the middle one and so on. If you don't want all those blue bubbles, you literally want to focus on what you're doing, you can hit this show and hide ancestors and all you see is the orange ones. If you click on the Beatles, you get all the Beatles albums and where it came from and so on. Black Sabbath, you're only focusing on Black Sabbath. The idea of fast capture took me a while to work out whether I liked it or not. I do like it. And the main thing is it helps you get your ideas out fast. You're not being distracted by different colors, choosing what color, choosing the shape of the branch, Okay, you can choose the shape of the branch a little bit. Look, I'm going to show the ancestors again. If you don't want these lines to be slightly wavy, you can click this toggle edge shape and they all go straight if you're a straight kind of person, which I'm obviously not, so I won't do that. And uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so they want you to, to get your ideas out fast. Uh, if you want to change the colour of the bubbles, you can't. If you want to make the text here uh, a nice fancy font, make it bold, italic, different colours, you can't. That's not what this idea is about. Uh, you can change the background a little bit. You can have white. It's a bit like uh, Ford. You know, you can have any colour as long as it's white, grey or sparkly black. 
Sparkly black is quite nice, I think. Grey, well, hmm, uh, not my cup of tea, but uh, I guess it's a personal choice. In other modes, in other views, the mind map view and the brainstorm view, you can have, have amazing backgrounds or import your own. But again, their philosophy here is don't distract yourself. Just have something very simple and get your ideas out there. You can make them look pretty later on. So uh, it's, it's very limited what you can do here purposely. As I said, if you want to get rid of them, you just highlight them and press delete. If you made a mistake, you can go up here, top left, and it comes back again. If you want to add a new one, you can click on that and add this button instead of um, just typing and pressing return. And um, that's about it, actually. Very fast video showing you how simple it is. And in future videos focusing on the fast capture mode, we will look at adding icons, adding notes, adding attachments, and the brand new outline panel. Oh, I almost forgot. Just a couple more things I wanted to tell you. One is if you press this little button, click this button down here in the bottom right hand corner, it drifts the map so that you can see everything. And finally, for this video, if you click the mind map button up here, just say OK, OK, it turns it into a little mind map. There we are. Isn't that nice? And you can see all of my bubbles, my hierarchy has been transformed into a basic mind map. Perfect. So I guess we can sum that up by saying whoever did this map certainly seems to have amazing musical tastes. And that was my very first video in my new series of short tutorials on the wonderful iMindMap 9. Now, if you're interested in knowing more about mind mapping, much more, visit my site, mindmapmad.com, and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.